If you were to speak of the big three builders of today, most would assume that you'd mean General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler. But it was only a few decades ago when steam locomotive building was a bellwether American industry that the big three could easily have meant Alco, Baldwin, and Lima. In 1968, the American Locomotive Company of Schenectady, New York, the sole surviving locomotive builder of the big three of steam, had high hopes that its C636, a 3600 horsepower Century Series diesel engine, could compete with EMD's best-selling 20-cylinder, 3600 horsepower SD45. Alco was created in 1901 by the merger of eight separate companies to compete with the ever-expanding Baldwin Locomotive Works of Philadelphia. Some of its most famous steam locomotives were the 464 Hudsons and 484 Niagaras of the New York Central and the 4664 Challengers and 4884 Big Boys of the Union Pacific. The last domestic steam locomotives it built were seven Pittsburgh and Lake Erie 284s in 1948. Alco had actually begun building diesel locomotives as early as the 1920s and had more success than Baldwin or Lima, having had fame with the PA Streamlined Passenger Cab Units and RS Series Road Switchers. The C636 was Alco's last attempt to regain some diesel locomotive market share in the motive power world that was now dominated by EMD and General Electric. Unfortunately, the Big Century only sold 34 units to four railroads, most going to the Pennsylvania Railroad. It wasn't enough, and in 1969, Alco, which had been building locomotives since 1843, exited the locomotive business with its diesel engine designs going to its Canadian affiliate, the Montreal Locomotive Works. Delaware Lackawanna No. 3642, one of the 15 C636s that was ordered by the Pennsylvania Railroad prior to the Penn Central merger, was outshopped in April 1968 and delivered as the Penn Central No. 6342. It survived into Conrail and was retired by the early 1980s with all others but two being scrapped. The other two that survived went overseas to Western Australia on the Robe River Railway in the Pilbara Mining Region. 3642 was sold to the Delta Bulk Terminal in Stockton, California where it was renumbered 1001 and worked in obscurity in the port of Stockton for two decades before returning east to work on the DL. Today it wears the gray and white Genesee Valley scheme which is based on the demonstrator paint schemes worn by Alco's C430 and C636 demo units and earns its keep by hustling lumber and grain over the former Delaware Lackawanna and Western main line between Scranton and Mount Pocono, Pennsylvania. For Trains 21, call me AC.